Okay, so after a few days of consideration, I decided to give an extra thought from last week. So, something I didn't talk about last week in my video is when I was on my way to the Christmas market to meet up with Antonia, I walked past the Algerian embassy, which is a usual walk for me, and there was a police car at like every block for like five blocks going up to it. And I was like, wow, something, something crazy must be happening right now. And then I got to the embassy and there was a lot of people protesting with Algerian flags, just, just peacefully, just talking in Arabic and holding up signs. And I almost took, I almost took a video of it, but I don't know, it felt like it would almost be a little bit sacrilegious because it was just like Algerians protesting for their rights, completely overguarded by Montreal policemen, by the way. But I just wanted to talk about this because I mentioned this event to a few of my friends, and I came to the understanding that really nobody knows what's going on like none of my friends who just read western newspapers and there have been massive protests now in algeria for like 10 months straight they started in february and the reason why is because there has been one president in algeria since 1999 Bouteflika's. And in 2013, he had a massive stroke. He's nearly mute now. And his whole regime is basically run by the military. And when they announced that he was going to run for president again, Algerians were like, no, absolutely not. We are not having this guy as our president again. And eventually, the regime announced that he was going to be deposed and that they were going to hold elections. But all five people in the elections are handpicked from the old regime and basically have the, the same policies and nothing is going to change. And so, since the elections are on like the 13th, people have, of December, people have been like, you know, up in their protesting because nothing is going to change. And hundreds of people have been arrested from these completely peaceful protests. And nobody, like, is talking about it in Western newspapers because it's just, it's not considered, it's not considered important. And I feel like that right there is, like, proof for you that Western countries don't really care about fighting for democracy in other places. Because, like, that would be really a big topic of discussion if, you know, the West actually cared about these sort of things. Anyways, yeah, hope you're having a good weekend. I'll upload my longer video later.